up, you two? How y'all doing? I just got out of Tai Chi practice, and now I'm over here uh, getting ready to go into the Girl Scout business so I can get our stuff for our cookie booth. But um, what I want to tell y'all. Oh, uh, we're going to talk about moon phases real quick. Like, this is just a real quick thing on moon phases, okay? So if you don't know the moon phases and how them shits work, listen to me because... If you go over to the Sun Kiss Spiritual Consulting Facebook page, it is posted over there. I probably need to post this shit on my website too. But, uh, with your moon phases, alright? What you want to do, it is different things. If you're going to utilize the power of the moon, alright? Now, make sure you know the correspondences of the moon and how the moon affects you before you go fucking around. Time I'm going to use the moon for a spell, okay? So. When you use these moon phases, you need to know what the phase is going in. You have the waxing moon. When it's waxing, it is growing. This is usually used to draw things to you. When the moon is going out, meaning it's going toward a new moon, the dark moon, when it's leaving, the light is leaving the moon, that is the waning phase, okay? So, you got about two weeks of waxing, two weeks of waning, and a whole month to complete a complete moon phase, okay? A moon cycle, all right? So, you have the moon has quarters, okay? So, you get your half moons, you know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, all right? Halfway. First quarter, uh, the moon is growing. It's a waxing moon. You get second quarter, it's a half waxing moon. Third quarter, almost complete. Fourth quarter, full moon. Then the cycle starts all over again. All right? Now, <clears throat> that is your waxing and your waning moon. When you have spells that tell you to use a particular moon phase, you could do that at any given specific time during that particular phase. So let's say it says do this on the waxing moon. You can do it, you know, um, day after. Well, I will wait three days after the, the new moon, okay? And when the moon starts to develop light, you can start your spell then. You can start your spell with any time during that, that waxing phase. If it says for you to discard it, on a full moon then you need to do the work hold the work hide the work until your full moon comes and then you discard of it however it is suggested that you discard of it okay look when y'all are discarding y'all work please be mindful that we are to be in sync with the earth so we should not just be throwing shit everywhere and if your materials are not biodegradable, then you need to find a suitable way to discard this shit. I know y'all done seen all these damn um, news stories about people fucking Evos and, and, and spell works and shit lined up against these railroad tracks. That shit is dangerous. Y'all gonna fuck somebody up with your nonsense. Trains move really, really, really fast. And your dumb ass done put a glass bottle on the motherfucking train track. Now that shit, that train done went over that shit and busted that shit at a high velocity and speed. And now it's spreading and all that. Now they stop this dumb shit. You gonna fucking derail the train with this bullshit. Your ass got all this metal and shit in your spell and done put it on the train track. Stop it. Fucking quit this shit. Dis dispose of this shit properly. And if you don't know how, well then you don't need to be doing it. Okay? Utilize your fucking subconscious mind, your imagination to figure out how you supposed to get this stuff out in a way that uh uh is suitable to the earth. You're not supposed to be destroying your the earth, the elements that you use. You're not supposed to be fucking them up to do what you need to do. What the hell is you doing? Anyway, you need to be mindful of these damn moon phases when you're gonna utilize the power of the moon. The moon is dark. It is the subconscious. It works on your dreams. It works on your emotions. It works on... And you really want to be careful when you're doing spell work under the moon. Okay? A lot of people like to use the moon for their spell work. They love work. The moon changes signs every two days. Okay? That is... Every two fucking days. Okay? 
So every time it's going to have a different expression of whatever it is that it's trying to manifest, you want to pay attention to that. That's why, you know, you want to try to learn at least some astrology so you can know what the hell is going on. Because, see, a lot of times people put their work out there and they get what they want, but they don't get it in the way that they want it. And you got to look at how the energy is going to express itself. Or you just going to throw, you know, care to the wind and just let the universe do what it do, how it do it. But... Yeah, the more specific and intricate you are with your spell without putting a whole lot of limitations up on the universe the better it's going to work out so you really want to pay attention to where the moon is where the moon is going to be when you get done that's going to be part of the divination of the work that you did you can pretty much figure out what the hell you can kind of expect a little bit based on when your spell when your work, your spell work started and when it ended where the moon is when it started where the moon was when it ended okay all of that stuff is important everything you do when you're doing spell work is important you gotta you gotta think about this stuff but the moon has four phases waxing waning first quarter second quarter full uh i'm sorry well yeah they kind of are phases it, like it, it, it grows it leaves. It grows, it leaves. And it, it, it moves in between it. So, you have all of that stuff to think about. You got your waning moon. is a going out moon. Okay? It's a moon used to remove some things. To discard some things. And, you know, for those of you that are going to use the moon in a different way. <clears throat> if you say, I want such and such by full moon. That means from the time that moon is dark, you are setting an intention and you are working toward manifestation by the full moon. Okay? This is more advanced working for those people that understand that, you know, it's not hocus pocus magic. The, those that understand that they got to put some work in it. You are essentially putting yourself on a time schedule. You're programming your mind to get some shit done in a specific amount of time. Um, for banishing things. From full moon, because that shit is there and you want it to go away. You're going to work toward getting rid of that thing until the dark moon. And at the dark moon, that's your manifestation. It should be gone by then. At least that's what you expect. Now, sometimes when you do your work, you find out in your work from your spirit guides or whoever is, uh, you know, overseeing whatever the energy is overseeing your spell work that, hey, you know, look for manifestation in three moons four moons six moons 12 moons whatever you know what i'm saying then you you know you know when to expect or to start looking for the manifestation of the thing that you're working on okay but another way people also do it in reverse okay they will banish things on the full moon or they will banish things on the dark moon it just really depends on how your subconscious mind programs these things into you or it depends on what the subconscious is calling for because sometimes you may feel like this is a suitable moon to banish some stuff but i think it's better that i start the working on the full moon rather than on the dark moon and that's okay too because your intentions play a lot part of it you need more than your intentions to make some work work you need some knowledge you need some wisdom you need some discernment as well but it doesn't hurt <clears throat> you know to uh listen to your intuition it don't hurt to listen to your intuition at all you know what i'm saying so um i'll be back later and get y'all you know i put a video up like not one of me talking like i do a video with the moon phases and all that stuff on it right now i'm just a little pressed for time and i got shit to do so i got to go but y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light and we will see you next video